Hi, I'm Dr. Kaplan from Helios Telemedicine for Longevity. It is estimated that over 1.5% of all men in the United States are on testosterone therapy. This does not include those who are getting their androgens through buddies at the gym or through other illegal sources. So with millions of men on testosterone, it's important to know what the long-term effects are. There aren't a lot of studies looking into them, but I found a few. Most of the long-term effects are similar to the short-term ones, like increased lean body mass, reduced body fat, increased red blood cell production, and stronger bones. The negatives also continue, including testicular shrinkage, lower sperm count, prostate growth, and anger or anxiety issues. That said, there are additional effects that arise over the long term. There is an increased risk of hair loss and baldness, increased creatine and lower good cholesterol levels, high blood pressure, lower indications of overall body inflammation, narrowing of the spinal canal, and a possible increased risk for prostate cancer. What these studies didn't show was a change in the risk for heart attack or stroke compared to men who are not taking testosterone. And what this all means is that continual care must be used in treating men with low T. Clinicians should reduce the risks of long-term issues by using the lowest doses needed to alleviate symptoms and make patients feel normal again. You should avoid non-clinical androgen use as there is no way to control testosterone levels and long-term complications. Click the schedule an appointment button at www.heliostelemedicine.com if you want to talk about your testosterone concerns. I can see anyone from anywhere for an informal conversation and can diagnose and treat patients in my licensed states of Texas, New York, Florida, and Missouri. Thanks for your time and attention. Bye for now.